Hey, the box is crossed. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for love and support, being able to dive deep, um, being trying to help yourself ascend to align yourself to be your authentic self and being able to walk around in your true path is truly a blessing so you keep doing the things you need to do and better better days are coming even better vibes are coming your way uh so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload on the next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love a chance for you to jot a couple of lines let i hope to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact they're going through some really dark times and need validation and confirmation towards their life path soul journey or a life purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support you've been giving me is truly appreciated and just allowing me into your life to help you along the way is greatly appreciated as well and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart for that and so with that being said i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the meditation music i'm listening to right now is called problem solving meditation for 741 hertz creative thinking visualization and channel your subconscious and i'll be posting that link in the description box below it's really psychedelic you see the girl in the the lotus position of meditating and it has all these psychedelic colors going around it looks like, i ain't never took acid in my life but it looked like something from an acid trip <laughs> from the uh woodstock days so anyways my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when your past comes calling, don't answer because you are not, no longer living there. It is so true because it's just like you, it, and I know you can relate when you know you're feeling better about yourself things are starting to go with you're going with the flow you're not forcing anything you're not adding things to it unless you need to um knowing that you're heading towards bigger and better things big blessings coming your way um there will be people coming back from your past that has really dampened some stuff really you know through a big in, brick in your program um, trying to come back in your life that's just devil it's just the devil trying to get with you because when darkness and the devil anything that's evil when they already see what God has in store for you power powers that be all creator source universe God as well um, has in store for you they will bring so many things in your life to try to sway you back over to your dark spot you know ego will try to throw you back into your old ways um, Whatever your weaknesses is, you know, the devil know your weaknesses. You can open yourself up to somebody and really tell them the things that you're going through because you took in confidence, you know, you actually, you know, thought this person was good for you. Or, you know, you really confided in that person and thought that was a person you can trust and all of a sudden they throw all your weaknesses at you or use your weaknesses against you or even see that, you know, they try to throw a monkey wrench in the, you know, and the blessings that's coming to your way. They will intervene on that. So you can't allow yourself to, you know, dabble in that you don't even entertain it and i have to tell myself that all the time you know people try to come back in my facebook trying to be nosy and see you know all the things that are going on in my life i've had people that i thought were my friends that i've been friends with for years and all of a sudden they just you know uh unfriend me or something like that and i'm like dad why did they unfriend me and then all of a sudden when they found out who i was related to you know it was like heard through the grapevine all of a sudden now these people are starting to you know want to you know friend me back and i'm like no nah, you took yourself out of my life or be like that stay like that i had to block them or it's just like people that are you know or sucking the energy out of me energy vampires i had to get them out of my life when people started comparing me their life to my life i had to get them out of my life um when people are just not fully awakened and not allowing themselves to see things for what they truly are 
not be my life. You know, you have to be able to do that. And sometimes that hurts for you to have to do that. But sometimes it takes a while for you to really truly see what, you know, when the universe has put that spotlight on people. And they start telling you, hey, you need to take Sally at your life. Or, hey, you need to take Bob out your life. You know, um, or you start pushing, you starting to see the red flags for what they are. Oh, excuse me. Um, going through all these different things because you're ascending. You're on that new level to where there's not, th these people cannot go with you. You know, um, not, you know, being uncomfortable with the new beginning because it's the unknown that want to fall back into your old comfort zone, your old vibes, your old ways. You don't, you can't do that. And being able to solve problems the way you used to solve them, you can't go that way either. You can't be on a new journey. You can't be using those, the same old remedy you did by getting by how you did before. You can't do that because you're on a whole new different level now. You're, you're, you know, your third eye is wide open. You're starting to see every connection and why everything it is the way there it is. Um, being able to show comfort in what is yet to come for you. Being able to say, you know what, I, I don't, you know, I have to have faith in Creator. I have to have faith in God or whoever, you know, you're praying to or you worship, whatever. You know, knowing that they have your back, knowing just because you can't see the things that they are going on behind the scenes, you still believe that there are better days coming for you. That you know, you know that door of opportunity, blessings, um, abundance is coming in your life that nobody can't take away from you. So, when your past is constantly calling you, change your number or put that mess on autopilot or, you know, airplane mode, whatever it is you got on yourself. <laughs> I forgot what it is, but being able to block yourselves from all those things because that's when you know your, you know, your blessings are somewhere, somewhere close. You know, you'll start seeing the signs. You'll start seeing the synchronicities. You'll start seeing things around you, the things that are echoing, echoing towards you that you have, you know, you done told universe, hey, you know, universe, or you even speak to yourself like, hey, one day I'm going to get that car, or hey, one day I'm going to be able to buy this house, and all of a sudden you start seeing, and I've said this before, you know, if you, you've been with me for a while, you hear me saying that, that's when you know your blessings are on its way, because people that you know will start having the things that you want, or, you know, you'll start seeing them on different videos. Somebody's posting certain things that relate to you and resonate with you on all different levels. It's a beautiful thing to be able to do this because you know you're you're going somewhere. You're elevating yourself. You're ascending towards all these, you know, through your consciousness. And being able to do that, you cannot go about it with the old ways, the old vibes, with the older people. You know, God and Creator and them separated y'all for a reason. You know, you try to figure out why did these people turn their back on me? Did you ever think that God maybe turned you? So they weren't facing the same way you are. They're on one journey doing their thing. You're on one journey doing your thing. And, you know, you can't, you know, sometimes when we're in our human form, we tend to go about things in our humanly way when we need to be that spiritual spirit essence and go about it in a spiritual way. You know, being able to see things for what they truly are and how they connect in your life. And knowing, you know, you can be that thing, that situation can be that milestone. But it's like when your past is your past, you know, stop reliving the past because there's times you keep on rereading that past. And I've done it myself, you know, and I keep on telling myself, you know, the, the, the higher self is like, Rosalind, why are you allowing this thing to get you? You're not going through this anymore. So why are you allowing that, you know, your past to keep creeping up on you like that? Because a lot of times it's like there's two reasons why past memories start coming back past painful scenarios are coming back either they're still suppressed in there and going through that next round so it, you can allow that to you know part ways with it with love and go about your business or you know um or these are the things you still constantly think about that you know it tends to still get to you that's when you know we have to make sure we don't um when people are just a-holes can't take it personal you can't, and it, I mean, it's a hard thing to do because they're talking to you, but, you know, it's just like you can be in that bad mood and you want to be able to lash out at somebody just because you, you'll feel better. There's times, you you know, I've done it, you know, especially if it's somebody who's pissed me off, you know, so I'll go, ah, you know, and it's just like, I mean, why? <laughs> I, I have to tell myself that why, just because people come at me in an ignorant way, why would I allow these things to keep, you know, their opinions don't matter to me. You know, their opinions aren't paying my bills. 
<laughs> so why am I allowing these things to affect me in any kind of way? People are always going to have um, different opinions about you. They're always going to have that doubt about you on saying all these different things are not going to go for you. These things aren't meant for you. You know, like I've told y'all before, you, you doors are about to open for you. Nobody else is going to shut. No matter how bad they don't want them to shut, you know, open for you, they're not going to be able to close them doors. You know, I mean, it's just times that, you know, certain things, God will sit up here and place you in a test just to see if you're going to react to it like you used to. You know, like I said, it's like heaven on one side, hell on the other. Devil and God are playing, you know, that arm wrestle. Devil will put something in your life and tell God, like, you know, they're going to react to it the same way when I throw this in the mix. And God's like, no, this is my child. <laughs> These aren't going to happen. He's like, I guarantee you this is not going to happen. And then when things get placed in your life, you, you know, they, they, they're they playing that tit for tat situation. They be in them petty baddies because it's like God is rooting for you saying they have changed. They have evolved. They're not going to allow these things to take effect in their life. They're not going to allow e ego to get the best of them. They're not going to let their pride get, get in the way of, you know, the things that they're trying to head towards. And it's just like when you know you cannot be punctured in those kind of ways anymore, devil going to be mad. He's going to be trying to get you in any way possible. And it's just God's going to be rooting for you and letting them know, no, nah, they ain't going to be shook like this. So you have to allow yourself to be, you know, steadfast, unmovable, you know, and it, it, it's just like your life that it's just when you know you have that, that confidence in yourself to allow yourself to know I'm ascending and I'm not going to allow nothing, you know, devil, darkness, these, these folks that I took out my life, allow them to do anything. You know, and it's just like, you can be very grateful for that. It's just, you know, because it's like when we go through different things, a lot of things, you know, we tend to fall back on our old ways because we want to go back to that comfort, comfort zone because we know that situation oh too well. But stepping into something new and you don't know what's ahead of you, it takes a lot of strength to do that. And you have to have that strength within yourself. You have to be able to see things for what they are, being half being able to have faith within yourself as well as the creator to know that I'm very well protected and better days are coming. You know, no matter what ego tries to tell you, no matter about the people around you that see you stunting, <laughs> see you grinding, because they're not going to give them, you know, you, I seen this post the other day, you're going to send so, so much that your past ain't going to know how to approach you. You're going to shook, you're going to have them shook. Because they're going to know how to come at you. I've had too many people come at me like, hey, Rosalind, how you doing? Hey, goodbye. <laughs> I mean, we really don't have nothing to talk about. You know, you don't have to be a, just because y'all are not friends anymore, associates, that don't mean it gain you as an enemy. But it's just the fact is your perception on your life and their perception of your life is in a totally different view. So allow them to think what they want. Allow them to be able to say what they want about you, you know behind your back because that's where they're supposed to be and I know I must have been really talking about something because my energy <laughs> that light just went whoof. so yeah you allow these things to happen go with the flow don't you know when you know you're you're heading towards big and beautiful things you'll start having that sense of calmness you'll have that sense of reassurance to know you know what you know I might not know what's ahead of me but I know you know the creator and all of them got something in store for me because I went through so many different things I've conquered so many things that was sent down to break me in so many different ways. Yeah, I might have fell. Yeah, I might, I might have got pissed off. Yeah, I might have got annoyed, you know, uh, drained from this situation. I cried. I yelled. You know, you did all these things. So you have to know that they have you going towards something. You know, they're not going to have you, uh, you know, stepping out there and just leave you high and dry. That's what people do, but not them. But, you know, if you already knew how the things were going to end, it won't be, there won't be any lesson in that, that situation. You have to be able to learn. You have to be able to have patience. You have to be able to believe, have faith that, you know, things are coming for you. Being able to surrender and stop trying to do everything on your own and figure out everything on your own. Because you're not going to be able to figure out anything because it's like life is starting to be like a deja vu with you. You know this is something you've done. You know you have a strange feeling. You don't know where that feeling is coming from, but you have it in your intuition, your gut. Why do I feel like I've been th through this route? And why do I feel like I know how this is going to end, but not really knowing? Like, you already know. Your higher self already knows where 
you're you're going to be uplifted in so many different directions you're going to be blessed on so many levels they know that because the things that you're praying for and all the hell that you're going through you got to think about it all the hell you must have been going through god must really be about to bless you beyond measures because the things that you have prayed for you're going to get more than what you have prayed for and i remember seeing a, uh, my friend um Brenda, much love to you as well. She put out a video, I mean, not a video, a post talking about a source makes you wait. Be prepared for your blessings to be blessed beyond all measures. And that's true. So keep walking your walk, keep grinding, keep hustling, keep doing what you do. Never lose focus on the things you're trying to aim towards. And don't allow the past to try to creep up on you and try to keep company because they ain't the company you need to keep. So I hope everybody is able to resonate with the content of this video. Drop me a line and let me know how you feel about it. My, my um, post notification goes out to Ray Fisher, Norman Smith, and... I'm at 77. So much love to you and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Be wow.